John Luther lived a rough life. He was an alcoholic, a drug addict, and was also abusive, all before finding God's forgiveness. But that was long before the opening scenes of the movie, when we were introduced to Luther as the head of a television ministry. Little does he suspect that his roughest days are yet ahead. One of Luther's major supporters over the years was U.S. Senator Donald Harrison. But now the senator wants a favor from the man of God, his endorsement for the Faith and Fairness Act. The bill's purpose is to provide equal time and respect for other systems of faith. That means when Luther is preaching about salvation through Jesus, he has to throw in a good word for alternative approaches to seeking heaven. Without a second thought, Luther turns Harrison down. I need you to get up there and announce that you fully support this bill. I cannot water down the gospel to advance anybody's political agenda. And that's when things start getting rough. The senator and his co-conspirators frame the evangelist for the murder of a teenage girl. Then Harrison convinces Luther's eager associate to take over the ministry for his own benefit. Luther goes into hiding to protect his wife and daughter, and to avoid arrest. His evangelical board members have sold him out, and even endorse the Faith and Fairness Act. But Luther finds help in unexpected places. It is easy to make comparisons with 1993's The Fugitive, but after a while, you understand the plot owes more to the Old Testament story of David fleeing from King Saul. Like David, Luther has a chance to kill his defenseless enemy, but walks away instead. Congratulations for riveting performances by James Remar as Luther, Bruce Davison as Senator Harrison, and Fred Thompson as Luther's father. You may be thinking, so how does Persecuted set a new standard for faith films? Simple. It tells a compelling story like movies are supposed to do we see our hero refusing to sell out under extreme pressure. And Luther continues to trust God, come what may. In other words, the actions of this fictional evangelist speak more loudly than a sermon dressed up as a movie. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com.